Alright. Let's see if I can find it out there. I can't even see it. I have my CTS steel target. It is 300 yards out there. There it is. And we are playing with the new normal bond strikes. Again, horrible weather. Every time I bring this setup out, it seems to rain. It's misting. Uh, we're only going to have about a 10 degree temperature change today, so the thermal's not going to look good. But really, we are um, testing the bullets. So the theory behind this this normal bond strike is it's going to open up the same 25 yards, a thousand plus yards. I'm normally shooting in within 100 yards. Every once in a while, you know, on the run, we get them out four or five hundred yards, but typically well within 100 yards. If I see some lone boars tonight, I'm going to try to take some longer shots. Uh, I zero everything in for a 50 yard zero. So we got a 50 yard zero. I'm going to test my holdover on this uh, steel target. Should just have to put it up about five to six inches above the top of the back at 300 yards and hit dead center. So here we go. Hopefully we'll hear the report and hopefully we'll be able to see the see the target here because um, it's not heated up. Yeah, I can see it from right there. Two good hits. I'm hoping center of the neckish area. We'll see where we got. But 300 yards is going to be a non-issue. So let's try to find some. Uh, we got to wait for the sun to go down. It's only it's only one o'clock now. So we've got a few hours. Go back to the house. Sun goes down. We'll try to hit some um, big boars at long range with the with the 180 grain bond strike in 308. See what kind of performance we get. Oh man. For everybody wondering how to range at night time. Here we go. Standard laser range finder. That's the first one we'll do. Yeah. Ninety four yards. The first one. This last one, 32 yards. That's why I love this halo. You can engage close, far, medium, it doesn't matter. All right, first group with the 180 grain normal bond strike they're all just average uh, adult hogs nothing really huge um, looks like every single one of them we got complete penetration one made it back into the trees and um, it's just too thick I, I hit him again when he went back there he, he left a good blood trail to the trees um, but I'm not gonna go look for him maybe tonight maybe tomorrow it's too thick back there anyways we'll look at this this was the farthest one this guy had turned around and come straight back at me 
here he is now he took there's your entrance right there went into the shoulder he was angling this way and so that means it went all the way through that shoulder all the way across his body completely through all the vitals and here we have our exit wound here pulled some guts out and that is I don't know I'd say Oh, the light's blocking it. Let me... Half inch. It's damn light. Half inch size exit. Wound it pulled some guts out. And like I said, it went completely lengthwise through his body and got an exit. So no recovered bullet. Um this other one over here was at 94 yards so that one puts that one at about 120 yards which should be nothing for these if you can't tell it is uh, misting again it's been misting all day can't seem to get it to stop here lately so the thermal footage looks horrid it's been 38 degrees for the last six hours and it's just kind of hung there all right this should be the first one I shot here so This one, man, again, that's about a, well, that's almost an inch, around one inch exit there. There's our entrance, her um, right above the right eye. So went in through the skull on the right side. The skull is, yeah, it's all crunched. And then got a good exit here. So no recovered bullets on this one. Good exits. We had them from 32 yards all the way to approximately 120 yards with the 180 bond strike. Two ninety three to the tree. Hell yeah. Hit him. Slowing down. Slowing down. Going down. <laughs> 300 yards, baby. At night. That 
tree he was by was two ninety three. Let's go see what this bullet did. Oh, here he is. Hopefully this bitch doesn't get up. size pig. Four. Ooh, nice cutter. There's no hole that I can find here. Obviously, there has to be a hole because we have leakage. Where's the damn hole? There we go. I don't see, I'm gonna flip them over. Not on my light. Oh shoot, we may have to, that may be the entrance, if it is, we're going to have to go digging and recover this bullet, which I really don't want to do, but in the name of science, we're going to have to. Damn it. Nope. All right, here's my entrance. So it did go all the way through. So here's, wow. I mean, that's pr almost perfect shot placement. I got lucky on that at that range. So yeah, there's my tiny entrance right there. Hit right, straight smack dab in the center of the shoulder here. Step back so you can see. So, even at 300, and 30 yards on a full grown boar, we got complete penetration, which doesn't bode well for recovering bullets. Thank you, leg. And the 180. Norma.
I hit it. Got that one. Got that one. 